My name is Jesslyn and today I'm going to show you how to create a multi-line outline brush similar to this one. I'm going to start with a square canvas and it can be any size but I always choose to use 27 inches by 27 inches just to make sure that my canvas is as big as possible so that the quality of my brush is the best it can possibly be. Next I'm going to turn on my drawing guide, edit the drawing guide and turn the grid size all the way up so that I have a vertical and horizontal line. I'm going to go grab a monoline brush and make sure that I am using pure black. If you're not sure, you can always check the value tab for six euros. As I draw my circle, I hold it in place to turn it into an ellipse and I press down with one finger to turn it into a perfect circle. I'm going to fill my circle with black and I'm going to make sure that it is centered in the middle of my canvas. I'll make sure snapping is turned on and then we're going to duplicate the circle so we have two of them. Now my second circle, I'm going to change and make it a light grey colour just so that I can differentiate between the two. It honestly doesn't matter, you can change the colour or you don't have to if you can tell the difference. And then I'm going to resize it. It doesn't matter if it's big or small, just as long as it's smaller than the original circle. So now we've got two circles, both centered in the middle of our canvas, one black and one grey. I'm going to select both layers and group them together. And then I'm going to rename each layer just so that I know which is which. I'm going to just label the black one as big and the grey one as small so I know which circle is which. I'm going to duplicate this group so that there are four circles in total. I'm going to highlight both groups and I'm going to go ahead and click the arrow so that I can resize all four circles at once. I'm going to grab my circles and make sure they're centered again just so that they're along the vertical line. Then I'm going to take the top group of circles and move them up a bit and I'm going to take the bottom group of circles and move them down a bit so that they're spread out on the canvas. I want to make sure that both groups of circles are evenly spaced out on the canvas so I'm going to highlight both groups of circles again and just make sure they're completely centered. Now that I have the circles positioned where I want them, I'm going to hide the layers with the two small grey circles on so that we only have the black circle showing. Swipe down with three fingers and press copy all. Go to the brush library, press the plus to create a new brush. Go to shape, shape source, edit, press import, paste and tap with two fingers to invert. I'm going to press done and then under shape behavior I'm going to turn the rotation all the way up so that it says follow stroke so that I get those two lines. Under stroke path I'm going to turn my streamline all the way up and I'm going to turn spacing down to about 10%. Under apple pencil I'm going to turn opacity all the way down and under about this brush I'm going to name this brush just so I know which one it is. I'm going to press done and my first brush is complete. To create the second brush that I need, I'm going to hide the two black circles and I'm going to unhide the two small grey circles. I'm going to recolor these small circles so that they're pure black and not grey anymore because we need them to be black in order for the brush to work correctly. I'm going to swipe down with three fingers again and press copy and I'm going to duplicate the brush I just created and I'm going to edit it. I'm going to go to shape shape source edit import what we just copied by clicking paste and you'll see you don't have to invert it this time because we inverted it last time and it keeps those settings click done and you'll see that the brush is slightly thinner the gap between the two dots is slightly bigger so the brush looks a bit thinner and this is actually what we're going to subtract from our original brush to do that i'm going to select the first brush we created and i'm going to swipe right on the second brush and click combine this now means we have one brush with two brushes combined together. Make sure that the first brush we created is on top and the second brush is underneath. And then I'm going to click any of those brushes and I'm going to change the combine mode to subtract. Now I have a multi-line outline brush. Something I forgot to do when I was originally creating these brushes was disable the orient to screen function. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn that off. Press done and that's it, you have an outline brush. I've got this set of 10 outline brushes available in my Etsy store, the link to that is in the description. I hope this tutorial helped you, let me know in the comments if you have any other requests. Thanks so much for watching.